Hi guys and welcome to this respray on this Ford Anglia 105E. Now this is a car that was first registered in February 1961. The colour for this is Ming Yellow and we're going to be going for the same colour when we repaint this car. Now it's quite a pleasure to do this car because this car is actually owned by Carcoon, the firm that we've had our boob off. They got in touch with us and asked us if we'd respray their 105E for them. So they've got something to show off in their boob when they take the boob out and when they're showing it to people that they can say basically this is what you can do in one of our boobs. Now a lot of you guys have been asking questions um, and answering our question as well about what you want to see more in the videos so let us know what you think of this video guys because this is going to be a little bit better than the usual video hopefully but let us know in the comments below. So, as you'll see at this stage, all we've really done is part stripped it and part masked it just to try and keep this job clean while we're doing it because the car is an immaculate car. Now, we've filled in, shall we say, the worst areas with a bit of lightweight filler and in a second we're going to get straight on to basically giving it a bit of a skim up so that we can try and get these top sections as flat as we can, trying to make this car look the best it can the guys that we're doing it for so to jump into this job along those top edges what we're going to do is we're going to give them a skin with a lightweight filler so firstly what we're going to do is we've got a Jura block we've got a long P20 on the Jura block and we're going to sand out all this top edge and we're going to try our best to use as much as the material as is already there to try and block this out and try and get these panels nice and flat now this car when it came in was a really nice flat straight car but obviously we want to try and make this car concourse so we are going that little bit of an extra mile and trying to make sure that this car is absolutely spot on for our customer now as the tip says what we're going to do is block out the existing surface try and get and work out where the little low spots are and then we're going to skim up these top sections with a very very light coat of fine filler and then block that out in two stages which we're going to be going through in a bit more detail in a moment so obviously this car has already got a slight material layer on it already with the paint and the original primers etc so what we're going to be just using is utilizing those layers and blocking this out and just using that to try and get the surface as flat as we can before we apply any fine filler and also with the 120 on the long block we're giving it a really good keyed surface for that fine filler to go onto that surface and adhere really well and we'll have no problems with anything cracking or any adhesion issues in the issue in the future. Now my choice for this was to go for the U-Pole Dolphin Glaze which is self leveling fine filler slash finishing glaze. It's a really nice fine filler, it sands really well, it goes on really nice and fine and it spreads levels does well basically just does exactly what it says on the tin for something like this where we don't want to put be putting a lot of lightweight filler in it or anything like that we just want a really fine skim now when you look at this you are going to think wow you know they've put a load of filler on the side of that car you know it's a shame to do that but when you watch this video through stay tuned watch it right through you will notice that we do actually take around about 80 to 90 percent of what we're putting on back off again and it's only those tiny little panel wobbles and really on a car like this it's the original pressing marks and panel wobbles that the car came out of the factory with when it was new in those days they weren't quite as picky as we are now and obviously weren't quite as picky as we are being on this job so we literally we're going to put this on as smooth as we can and try and feather this out so it really is just a really fine coat now I'd say this is probably only about one or two millimeters thick before we've even started blocking this fine filler down so by the time we've gone over this in the two stages that we want to do and the first stage being a P120 on the long block again nice and diagonal blocking these panels out so we end up with a real real smooth flat finish on these top sections and then we're going to guide coat it and we're going to go over it with a 180 to make sure it's finished off ready for putting our primer on top and then not something that originally we were planning on doing but because we decided to go the extra mile on this car we then went through and blocked this whole car out by hand and then finished it with a DA before we painted it now as you can see 
this skim really is going on really fine. That one little bit of filler that I mixed up uh, on the board a minute ago is going to do this whole front section on this door and we're just going to give it a real nice light coat just so we can get that top of that panel as smooth and as flat as possible um, just to make this car look um, if it is possible really better than it already is it is an absolutely stunning example of a 1960s car the car itself is absolutely immaculate um, as you'll see when we get to the primer stage um, in around about 10 minutes um, you'll see that we actually bagged the whole underside of the car off purely because the underside the running gear and everything is so clean on this car we didn't want to risk any overspray or anything going underneath the car as well as inside the car or anywhere else so we did go that extra mile on this and mask off the whole underside as well as the top side so as you can see all that fine fill has gone down really nice we're going to now give that around about 10 20 minutes let that go off really well before you start doing any blocking work now as i said if you initially look at this panel it looks like we've put an absolute shed load of filler on the side of this car but we haven't keep watching and you'll see that by the end of this that 90 percent of this is actually completely see-through and the only areas that aren't see-through are where the little low spots are and that is what we wanted to just nib out of these top panels to make sure this was nice and straight so we've started off with the p120 i'm using the long dura block that i've got because it's a really nice block it's really flat and it's brilliant for panels like this and work like this on a car now we are trying to keep it as even as possible nice and diagonal nice even pressure and motion across the block and the panel surface to make sure that as we're blocking this out we're doing so in a uniform way that when we put our primer down it really will be a nice smooth flat finish that is nice to block out ready for the paintwork and then when we put down our final gloss on this car it will be a really nice stunning flat finish across all those top sections now we didn't block out the sides using fine filler or anything like that i did block out the whole car by hand with a 180 before we actually put the primer on and um, unfortunately i did actually lose that stage of the footage and um, we're having a bit of a few camera issues um, but the majority of the footage we have managed to keep so at this stage we're just going to keep on blocking and keep on blocking until we're at a point where we're happy that basically we've taken this whole area down this whole area is nice and smooth and flat and i'd say we're about 80 percent 90 percent towards where we want to actually be now you need to take good care when you get around tight edges like at the top of the panel there's a lot of swage lines and there's a lot of harsh lines on this car and it's something that you want to make sure that when you're blocking it out and if you're putting any fine filler or anything like that down that you preserve all those lines and other lines like the actual main panel edges or anything you can actually crispen them up quite a bit once you're doing this and also when you get on to blocking the actual primer itself down using a bit of fine line tape along some of them edges you can crispen those edges up now you can see already at this stage that the yellow of the actual car is already starting to show through it just shows how fine the actual filler has gone on and it was a really nice thin smooth coat now I would say go on this until you're happy that everything feels that it's all at the same level um, it may still be a touch too high but that's not to worry because the next stage for this is getting some guide coat on there now I've got the Indasa dry guide coat and um, it comes in the little plastic applicator and it's got the sponge that you can use on top now for a job like this it's really good once you've got this to the point where it's about 80% of where you think it needs to be you can put a coat of guide coat on this then and um, switch over from a 120 to a 180 so once you finish blocking this surface out it is then able to take the primer straight on there without any issues of having to sand any scratches out or any of those scratches showing in your primer um, at a later date if any of your primer shrunk back or anything like that a 180 is a good grit to finish off with so again we're just being careful on that top edge making sure we're blocking that out and again making sure we're blocking everything out really nice and e even and smooth 
across the whole surface of the panel and try not to work in one place or one area for too long so we don't put any flat spots or anything like that. Now the guide coat itself really it is just a visual aid. You've got your hands so you can feel the panel and this just does help with things like filler for pinholes and as you'll see here at the back end there's a, an area there where I've not quite blocked out the filler properly and it really does show up with guide coat so it is a brilliant thing for the sake of I think this Indasa one was about £15 for a pot it's done this whole car in the filler stage it's done this whole car in the primer stage and I could probably do about another 10 cars out of it without any worries of actually running out so for the sake of 15 quid, I know all them pinholes any low spots or anything like that you can see them now as that's being blocked out that pinhole section at the back of the car really does stand out visually and it's something that if you're not really keen on or maybe you're a DIY guy or a hobby guy and you're new to this a guide coat really is a good thing to help you guys really make these faults stand out so you can fix these faults before you get into a primer stage or before you get it into a colour stage which would be the worst case scenario you run a bit ahead and this gets into colour and then you've got big problems so we are going to cut out in a minute and I'm going to leave you with a bit of your music and the first coat of primer um, with a lot of hints and tips and I've added a bit of music in there just to try and make the whole video a little bit more watchable for you guys now what we did was carry this process on along the whole tops of the car obviously clean the car down get it in the booth back mask the bottom underside the car off and get everything ready so we can start shooting some primer on it so i'll see you guys in a minute
So guys, we're going to go for the actual build coat. Now, we've given that a good, I'd say, 15 to 20 minute flash off to let that really seal up those areas where the lightweight filler is, where the finishing filler is left, and also where there's the harsh little breakthroughs on the actual paint surface. So you'll notice on that first coat, I did go really quick with the gun, because although I want a wet coat, I don't want a heavy coat. I just want a nice light coat over the area to seal it up. Now we're going to get into the build coats. We're going to slow things down. We're going to leave the gun settings the same. We're going to leave the fluid on full, the air pressure the same. And we're basically just going to go a lot tighter overlap and a lot slower with the spray gun. What that's going to mean is the tighter overlap and the slowing down is going to mean that we're going to absolutely hammer the primer on. Now I gave this car in total four coats i've only kept one coat in the actual video for you guys because if i put all four coats in it would take quite some time to actually get through the video but you can see i am putting this down out really really wet and that is going to give us a really nice build so that in part two which you'll see we can then get into the actual blocking down of the car and the panels itself prepping those to get them in the booth and then get them painted now all this primer is purely going on there again for the build so that when we block this car out we can block this car out and try and make it as straight as we can now when I first um, took this job on I wasn't quite thinking that I'd go as far as we were going to on this car but with it being so nice and in such good condition before we actually started work on it we wanted to make sure that when we were finished with it it is an absolutely stunning car which I have to say that now it's painted it is a really really nice example of a Ford Anglia it's actually one of the first Anglias that I've had the chance to work on um, and it was a pleasure to do for the guys over at Carcoon and um, they're really nice guys uh, and I hope that when they get this car back they're as chuffed with it as we are so we did leave the actual doors on for this stage because as like I said this car really is an absolutely stunning example of a car the door shuts and everything was still like brand new so when it comes to the actual paint stage we are then going to strip the car the doors and everything off the car once it's all been blocked out and we know that it's all straight and everything all the panel edges meet nice and everything looks good and then we'll wet on wet the door shuts before we actually paint the car once they've been blocked out um, with something obviously a lot finer um, but we'll get over to that in part two you'll also see all the underneath We've back mast off. The way that we actually went about that was before we rolled the car into the booth, we stretched a piece of poly roll out across the whole booth floor and then actually drove the car onto the poly roll. We then back mast all the sills, all the arches, and all the edges that we didn't want any primer or overspray getting past, and then lifted it up off the floor, back masked it all to the car and then pinned it down so that it was all nice and out of the way while we were doing a spraying. That's just meant that again we're going to have a really nice ultra clean finish on where our paint and our new work finishes and where the old work and the old paint on this car begins because underneath, I'll try and get a shot of it in one of the later parts for you, but underneath this car is as clean and as pristine as the outside of this car will be so we wanted to make sure that none of this primer overspray or the color or anything like that gets on the car the same goes really when for when you start guide coating the actual car and blocking the car down itself i'll always try and leave the car masked up so none of this dust gets inside the car the engine bay is going to stay masked up so that none of the dust or anything like that gets inside there um, so everything stays clean until the final point where we have to tear the masking off to remask it for our final paintwork masking and obviously when we do that there'll be a few little bits of back masking etc but we'll go through that again in the next stage in the next video so as you can see I'm taking my time with this there's no rushing with these coats of primer we want to make sure we get a real nice even wet coat on um, nice and thick we've only knocked this back with 10% thinners just to help it come out of the gun a little bit better and go on that tiny little bit better but we're not worried about finish this coat is purely for build the finish is going to come in the blocking stage and then the final DAing stage before we actually get around to the paintwork 
So a few of you guys who are regular viewers and also followers of, of us on Instagram have asked us to do a little bit longer videos and try and include a little bit more information. So I just want to give a quick shout out to Lee Pascal, I hope I've said your name right, Stuart Smalley and Driveway Auto Body who all giving us some feedback asking us to do slightly longer videos and try and add a bit, few little bits in there that make it a little bit more entertaining and also that little bit more informative for you. So thank you very much to them. They're just a couple of the people that have given us feedback and asked for a few odds and ends. Um, out of many, many people that have sent us messages. Um, I'm just picking a few names out of a hat there, guys. So if I haven't read your name out, please don't be offended. Um, we really do appreciate all the feedback and I hope it is transferring to the videos for you guys. If you're liking the way that the channel is progressing and also the way that the videos are progressing do let us know in the comments below i hope you are enjoying it as much as i'm enjoying making these new videos with this new setup it does give me a bit more of a rain to start doing things a little bit better i'm trying to make the videos that little bit more visually appealing for you guys as well as trying to get more information hints and tips and things like that in there and it's important to me that we take on as much as we can on board from you guys because at the end of the day without you guys that watch us we are nothing more than a few videos on an internet page so thank you very much guys for all the feedback for all the follows for all the subscribes for all the shares for all the thumbs up and for all the comments and as usual in this video if you've got any questions or anything you want to know let us know and we will do our best to get back to you as soon as we can uh, some of you guys will know we will we will always try and answer all the questions so thanks for watching guys and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you soon